yeah, so it's a video of um, all my family, all my friends, my neighbours, half of Maidenhead by the looks of things, all coming around for a viewing party, which I didn't know was happening, in my garden, on a projector screen for my 200 freestyle final, and it's just blown up on social media. Um, so I'll give it a watch. So I think it's coming into my last 50. Um, I can see my mum and my sister pointing. A few people can't watch. Has he gone too early? He hasn't gone too early. So, yeah, they're all the boys from Maidenhead. They're all the boys back home. Getting close. Ah, oh, my sister's going mental. There we go. First place and everyone goes nuts. Someone sets a flare off. Someone actually lights a flare. Uh, both my brothers, both my sisters, my mum. They've all got the Team Tom Speedo tops on. That's insane. That is in unreal. That's what it's all about. If I can do my family proud, and made their proud, and my club back home, my coach proud, and GB proud, what more could you possibly want? I did get COVID twice. I did contract COVID twice. The head of British Swimming gave a talk, and after my first COVID contraction, he said, one of our most diligent athletes has come down with the virus. That's how you know, prevalent it is out there. You've got to be extra careful. The most diligent athletes caught it, and obviously I went on to catch it again. I mean, my coach said if I made it on the blocks, he'd eat, my, he'd eat his hat. It was that, it was honestly that, like much like a tightrope getting out here, you know, all the early mornings. Every time my mum had to drive me out of bed, and my sister training partners with her. You know, I, I can't list everyone, but so many people have been part of this journey. These medals, as heavy as they actually are, they do carry some real weight with them um, for, for everyone back home. And, you know, I know they couldn't be here, but I hope I've done them proud.